What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Jackson of Atlanta YouTube channel, guys. Do me a big favor. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button. Listen, you're rocking with the Jackson of Atlanta today. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's going on, y'all? Listen, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Uh, as you guys see, it is a beautiful and amazing day outside, y'all. It's a little bit chilly but it's a beautiful day outside definitely excited that summer spring is almost over and that summer is on the way y'all uh so looking forward to getting a little warm y'all time to bring out the shorts short sleeve shirts y'all know listen I'm about, I'm about to get my shoe game on this week listen the summer is here you heard me the summer's here it's on the way y'all so let me know guys what your plans are for the summer down below in the comments uh whether you're going on vacation what you're going to be doing every day, let your boy know down in the comments because I want to know what y'all got planned for this summer. Y'all going to be inside or are y'all going to be outside? Anyway, y'all, without further ado, today, today, I got my boys with me and we're here. We're going to tell y'all where we're at in a minute, but I got my boys here with me. Marcel, come over here. Tell everybody, say, what's up? What's up? Say hi. Look. Hi. How you doing today? Good. Good. What's on your shirt? Uh, Rob, what color is your uh, shirt? Wow. Huh? Purple. Purple, okay. Justin, how you doing today? I got it. Wow. Dinosaur Raw. What color is your shirt? Justin. What color is your shirt? Wow. What color is your shirt? A dinosaur. Say the dinosaur is blue. Say blue. Blue. Huh? Say blue. Blue. Blue, okay. How you doing today, Mateo? You doing good? Okay. You ready to have fun? Yeah. Okay. Give me a high five. Okay. How you doing today, Milo? You doing good? You looking good? You feeling good? All righty, y'all. And y'all got to get ready to get Miles' shoes out. Look, I didn't let Miles' shoes. He didn't kick them off in the trunk. I'm get ready to get them out. But how you doing today, Miles? You doing good? Huh? You doing good? You doing good? You doing good? Oh, you ain't talking today. You fool. You been eating all day today. What you doing, Miles? Huh? You doing good? Huh? You doing good, man? Yeah, there you go. There go that lad. There go that lad. And then, y'all, we got our baby boy over here chilling. How you doing, little man? Huh? Maverick. What you doing, man? Huh? What you doing, man? What you doing? Uh, uh, so y'all, we are um out here at the park today. Um, the playground is way on the other side, they don't have no park, y'all. So, I know we're gonna make it over there. We brought a ball, so they just really want to run around. I don't know if we're gonna make it over there because it's a little too windy, so we ain't gonna be out here long because it's like it's not cold, but then it's cold. So, I really don't feel like walking all the way over there. Plus, they just got over uh not too long ago with a cold so i'm gonna put miles shoes on uh so we probably gonna just play over here in this area y'all uh while they have fun but i've been lately trying to get them out the house um uh, we usually sometimes play at the house but i try to get them out take them to some nearby parks because we live near a lot of parks and things so i try to just get them out and go to some of these parks try out different parks this so far is not my favorite park i think it's another one better than this because the park like the one that I wanted to go to, I think the parking's like, and I meant to go to, the parking is very close to the playground. This one, like, the playground is, like, all the way over there, and it's no parking. I'm not walking all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way over there. So, we're going to make it do what it do, y'all. Um, but they ready to have some fun. They outside nature, so they ready to go. So, y'all ready to have some fun? Yeah. All right, what you want to do? I bought the ball. You want to play with the ball or go to the playground? You would want to go to play. You want to go over to the playground? Yeah. All right, let's go on over there then. Okay, you ready to go, Justin? Yeah. All right, what you doing? Justin, what you doing? That boy, nature, y'all. See, he have fun. That boy being in woods all day. All right, let's head over to playground. All right, let's go. All right, let's go.
now. So we have made it to the park playground area. Say hey, Marcel. Hey. Say hey, Justin. Hey. hey. Y'all got Mateo Milo up there. All right, who get ready to come down the slide first? Justin. All right, come on. Come on, Justin. Woo. Milo, you coming next? Come on, Milo. You got it, Milo. Come on. Come on. Marcia, help, uh, uh, Marcia, help him on there. You got it, Milo? What you scared for? Come on in. Come on, you got it? Help it's him get it. What? All right, you going back up? All right, go on back up. Come on, Milo. Come on. Go, go, go. Put your feet up there. Help him put his feather foot. You got him? All right, Mar um, Milo is getting ready to come there. Come on, Milo. Woo! Woo oh, good job, Milo. Good job. All right, Marcia, you coming next? I'm going to tell you. Who coming next? Me. There go Justin again. All right. Mateo, you coming? Come on, Mateo. You got it. Come on, buddy. All right, let's go, Mateo. You got it. Let's go. Woo. Whee! Whee! You good? All righty. All right, Marcia, you coming down again? Yeah. All right, come on. Whee! Good job. All right, where you at, Marcia? Right here. All right. You going there in the slide? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Woo! You have fun? Yeah. Okay. So the kids uh, are enjoying their time over here. Justin is. Y'all can see that boy playing rough. Look at him. He, he playing so rough right now. Uh, Mateo ended up falling, y'all, and hurt his face. So I'm going to let y'all see that when we, when, we get, when we get ready to leave. One thing about my sons, y'all, they got that, all that. They all got a forehead. So we're getting it from me and their mama, y'all. So he didn't fail, but he he's still moving, y'all. As y'all can see, he's still moving on. He did uh, scar himself up on his face. So I'm gonna let y'all see. We gotta put some ice on. Him so we get ready to wrap up and leave, so we can get him some ice. You good, Mateo? You good? Okay. Go ahead through. You going through? Go on through. Go on through. You got it. All right. I said check on Mateo. Make sure he's moving through there good. Okay. What's he doing? Good, Mateo? Okay, you going down the slide? Got this slide, Mateo. Come on down the slide. Marcia, how about you get behind him and come with him, okay? Okay. All right. Help him to the slide. Help him put his leg up. Got it? There we go. Marcia, you get behind him. Hold on. Put him. You got his butt up there? All right, I got him. Hold on. Don't go yet. Come on. Get behind him, Marcia. Sit, sit behind him. You got him? Y'all see where he messes face up on this side? It fail. All right. Put his leg. Put your leg behind. Get, get behind him. I got him. Go ahead. You got it. Yeah. You got it. All right. Hold on. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Ready. All right. Let's go. Wee. Hold on tight. Good job. Hold on tight. Ah uh ah. -uh. Look at this boy. Uh uh. Ah. Look at this boy. Y'all. He trying to go right. Run <laughs> right. Boy, you trying to run right into them. Stand up, go back up. All right, can y'all get up? Wait, you gotta wait your turn, son. You gotta run right into them, I saw that. All right, you got it? All right, y'all get on up. Scoop, push them up, push them up. Mateo, scoot up. Scoot up. Scoot up. All right, y'all got it. All right, Justin, go ahead, your turn. Go ahead, you got it. Go. 
All right, y'all. So this is Mateo Fe. He fell. His face began to bruise us. So we're going to head back to the house here shortly. Get him some ice and stuff. But these kids, they always fall. They get right up. They keep on playing. You okay? You okay? We're going to get you some ice, okay? All right. Let's get ready to go get some ice. All right. One more time. We got to get ready to go. We got to go get Mateo some ice, okay? All right. One more time. Let's see you go down the slide. Go down this one over here. You got it? Y'all already know Milo, he ain't interested in playing. Just like, he was like a daddy, like a kid. Come on. Woo! Uh-oh, right on your butt. Hold on, wait, Justin, wait, Justin. All right, you okay? All right, come on, Justin. Ooh, oh, you okay? All right. That boy, y'all, that boy red. He had, had to just get after him. He was throwing mulch everywhere like it was, like was some water. Just throwing mulch everywhere. Anyway, all right, y'all. Let's get ready to head on out here. Let's go. Come on. One more time. When you come down, that's it. Time to go. Time to reset. It's over. It's over. You ready? You ready, my low? Because you ain't an outside person, low. Huh? You ain't an outside person, low. You ready to go? Oh, he got a little attitude. Let him go on. Take him back on. And Miles over here chilling, y'all. All right, let's go. All right, grab each other's hand. All right, y'all. Let's head on back. What's going on, guys? So we have finally made it back to the his day, y'all. We've made it back to the house. Y'all, the kids had a blast, a blast at the park. Um, but overall, guys, I wanted to sit down with you guys. Thank you for watching uh, the last video that I posted. Um, as uh, If you have not seen that video, make sure you guys check that video out now. Excuse me, y'all. Ooh, burping. Just finished having something to drink. Uh, but y'all, overall, uh, I just wanted again to chime back in to thank you guys so much for rocking with us. As you guys know and continue to know that we're going to be uh, co-parenting on this channel, the Jacksons of Atlanta. Uh, so, so many of you asked, what is happening to the channel? So, we'd like to just let you know again and again and again and again that the Jacksons of Atlanta YouTube channel is not going anywhere, guys. Uh, my goal and my focus is... Um, always the kids, the most important thing. And I want you guys to be able to see them grow up um, and become the young men that they are, have been destined and are called to be. Uh, but overall, guys, I would like to say, too, one of the things that I've been um, focusing on is one of the things is, you know, with the whole situation and everything happening, um, I regret, you know, you, you, you sit back and you get to the end, you be like, Man, I could have handled that a whole lot better. I could have said that a whole lot better. I could have did that a whole lot better. I could have went about that a whole lot better. And I would say, you know, far as, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the days that are ahead because I know that at the end of the day, uh, my best days are not behind me, but they are ahead of me. Um, things will be different um, because... It's a different season. It's a different way of things. Things are set up differently. So, um, you know, it's a different season ahead. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking forward to it. But, you know, as I look back, um, and I'm sure a lot of us get to points like this in our life where, you know, you can be, and sometimes you can be in the moment and sometimes you think it's the best idea or you think it's the... Uh, you think you're going about it the right way, and sometimes you look back and say, "Hey, I could have handled that better." My, 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 the way I would maybe feeling may not have changed, but I could have handled this situation much better. Um, so I'll definitely say that, you know, especially with me, you know, when it came to my kids, all of that. I, I you know, I look back and say, "Hey, I could have handled that much better." Um, but overall, guys, the journey of co-parenting. It is going smooth, you know. Like I said from the last video, it's it gets better by day by day, uh, as the old saints would say. Uh, by, by by and by, it gets better uh, by and by. So um, I'm grateful. Um, the kids, you know, the more I realize, the more I still spend with my kids, and I sit with them, and we go out and we have fun together. That's what that's that's what they want at the end of the day. They want to see daddy. Uh, they want to know that daddy is present too. Um, and like I said from the last video, guys, I'm learning to slow down. I'm learning to um, give 
task to other people. Um, and because I've always been a person to, I'll do everything myself. I'll work, I'll work you under the table. I will do everything myself. I will, I'm there from the beginning to the end and I'm learning now. If you're going to do anything in life, if you're going to grow anything or if you want to build anything, you have to, you have to lean on other people. You have to build a team and you have to trust that they'll get it done. So I know with my, my journey now, and especially as I into the chapter that I'm entering and into this new chapter, I'm learning to delegate things that I do to other people. That way I can free up time because I was learning that I was so busy that I wasn't able to be present with my kids like I want to. So in this season, one of the main goals, no matter what's going on, no matter that I'm getting a divorce from my wife, I'm not divorcing my kids and I want to make sure I'm present for my kids. So learning to do that, that's a big thing for me because um, I can get so caught up in work, so caught up. And, and you might be watching this, you might be the same way. You get you can get so caught up in work that you can neglect home. And we have to realize at the end of the day, home is the first thing, you know, before, before work on the outside, home is the first thing. So I'm just learning to be present for my kids, um, have fun in the moment. Uh, of course, y'all know we've, we got six kids and I think our youngest is now was six, seven months, eight months years old. And it's like, I know I am getting to the point now. I'm like, I'm ready for them to be a little older. Cause we've been in this infant stage and newborn stage and toddler stage for what five six years now so you like all right once everybody get a little older uh it's going to be you know in a way probably not but i'm thinking it's going to be a little bit easier everybody can move on their own um so i am waiting for that i don't want them to grow too old but i am waiting for the day they all can just get up you gotta go to the bathroom go to the bathroom you gotta do this do that you know if you if you yes, hey, hey put everybody put your shoes on that that's what i'm waiting for um, because we've been in it, it seems like this infancy with Drake is six years of it. So I am looking forward to seeing my kids grow up. And um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I'm ready for them to be able to at least do what they can on their own a little bit. Um, so we ain't got to get the strollers out and all that stuff. But overall, guys, I am doing, I'm doing wonderful. Um, you know, like I say, you know, continue to pray for us. Continue to keep us in your thoughts and prayers. Um, but it's getting, it's getting better day, day by day, by and by, it's getting better. And, um, we're going, we're going to ride this thing out. We're going, we're going, we're going to co-parent and we're going to make the best of it. We're going to have fun doing it. You know, um, uh, we like I said, last time I told you guys, as far as communication, we are still in behind and communicate through an app called Talking Parents. Um, and that's going wonderful. And, um, like I said, my goal and my hope one day is for us to communicate verbally and be able to be friends again um and we got a lot of we got a long path to that we got a long path to it because it has to be a lot of healing to take place and um but i would i would say overall what i wanted you guys to know um i i do regret how i handled it um when i could be because it's like and, and sometimes you don't realize how you handle something because you don't if you've never been through something sometimes you don't know how to handle it but when you get, when sometimes when you get all the way over at the end, you be like, now I should have handled that a whole lot better. And um, that's kind of been where I've been. I'm like, I could have handled this a whole lot better. Um, even if this was the case, I could have handled this a whole lot better. Um, so, you know, I just encourage you guys on the video. And it, it's not even about me preaching to you. I'm preaching to myself, preaching to both of us. That, you know, whatever you're going through, um, don't get so caught up in it and don't get so caught up in your emotion that you, that you eventually, when you get to the end, you look back and say, Hey, I could have handled that better. Sometimes we got to stop. And sometimes we got to have people, you, you got to have people in your corner because we, we, we go through a lot, a lot of things in life that I've learned. What I, one thing I learned about me, I'm always surrounded by a lot of people. Uh, and you can be surrounded by a lot of people, but just be, just because you're surrounded doesn't mean you're supported. So I've learned in this season to make sure I have people around me that I can speak to, that I can talk to. Because sometimes when you're going through things, you have all this in your head and you don't have nobody to talk to. You don't have nobody to tell. And sometimes if you was able to get some of that stuff out of your head out, you can have somebody check you and be like, no, you need to go about it this way. 
Um, so that's what I encourage you. If you, you know, if you're ever going to, make sure you talk to somebody. Uh, because we live in a life where we got a lot of associates. You got people, you're surrounded at work. You're, so, uh, you, you're surrounded at home. You're surrounded at church. You're surrounded anywhere you go. But just because you're surrounded doesn't mean you're supported. Um, so make sure you get support because I know that's been one of the biggest things to me. I've literally said, listen, and I've been able to talk and after hearing myself and hearing what was going through me or hearing how, how I went about it, how I should have did it, I was like, oh. And so making sure, um, and that's for everybody. And that's just like, you just, we all live and we learn that. So, but overall, like I say, y'all, uh, continue to lift us up, to continue to pray for us. Uh, comment down below. Let, let me know what you guys thought about the kids going to the park today. Uh, we got, you got to see a little bit uh, because I wanted sometimes I just like to just put the camera down and hang out with my boys, y'all. But listen, uh, Daddy, like I told y'all from the get-go last video, maybe divorcing my wife, not may I am, but not divorcing my kids. So this whole narrative about, oh, he didn't left her with six kids, got her pregnant, all this, he didn't left I'm still in my kids' life, and um, I can still be a dad just because I'm not a husband. I can still be a dad. So, listen, guys, thank you for rocking with us. Do me a big favor: hit the like button, hit the share button, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button. And guess what? We'll see you in the next video. Listen, remember, this is the Jacksons of Atlanta, and if you keep it locked. We're all keeping it. Keep it lit. We out of here. Two sets of twins, ain't no stopping us. Subscribe to the channel, uh, keep on rocking with us. Jackson's of Atlanta, uh, you see the fam, man. I know you tune in to just stand in my hockey. Two sets of twins, ain't no stopping us. Subscribe to the channel, uh, keep on rocking with us.